Hi, I'm going to talk about wiring a Nortel 616 or 6X16 KSU. Uh, inside the cover of the, of the Nortel 616 are uh, two different connectors. Over on the far uh, left hand side are six of these little modular ports. Okay. And those are going to be from the bottom up. They're going to be line one, two, three, four, five, and six. You don't have to use all of them, but but that's where they are. And what you're using is just regular modular RJ11 plugs. And the other end of that plug is going to connect to whatever line source you have. That line source could be you know regular telephone lines for the phone company. It could even be a Magic Jack or a cable modem that produces dial tone. Okay, so out of the the North Star is also this little. Amphenol connector right here. I call that an amphenol connector. It's a 25 pair connector, and there's a male on the uh, 616, so you'll need a female, and then that goes right in there, and then you use these little Velcro, supplied Velcro uh, straps to just kind of cinch it down in there. Now there's also an emergency telephone jack, which rarely gets used, and then find even more so now that everyone's got cell phones. But if you want to use that, you won't use a system phone. So you won't use one of these phones. You'll use a regular old household phone. You can plug it into there. And what that would do is if you lost power or if a system malfunctioned, it should, in theory, connect your household analog phone uh, to line one. So without power, you should still be able to you know, make and receive calls on line one. Now, let's follow that amphenol out of the system. And we're going to fan that out on a 66 block. I'm not going to go into the details about fanning out and punching down a 66 block. There's plenty of other information about that you can find. But basically, you're going with a standard 25 pair of punch down connections. The way the wiring works is the first 16 pair are your stations. So 21, 22, 23, etc. Then it skips several pair where there's just no connections. And then the very bottom, which would be like the violet orange to the violet uh, slate, is going to be um, let's see so the so the violet orange is going to be your uh, audio output to a paging system so you know when you use the phone to make a page if you want to go through a PA system too you connect the audio onto uh, orange and, and violet uh, also uh, let's see the the or the violet green is a contact closure for the paging system that's not always needed but if you need it that's what that is uh, the violet brown is for an auxiliary ringer now let me explain something here it doesn't produce ring voltage. Okay, it won't ring an unpowered bell by itself. All it does is it's just an open and closed contact which signals a remote ringer to activate the ring. Okay? And then the last one is music on hold. So that's actually two things. It's music on hold and it's also background music. So you just you just take like a like a headphone connector cord, you cut off one end. And you punch down the, you separate the positive and negative, and punch them down on the uh, on the violet, sl uh, yeah, violet slate pairs. And then you take the the headphone jack and you plug it into your audio source, and that's what produces the music on hold. All right, so now how do we get that out to our phones? Your phones on the wall, your jacks on the wall are either going to be look like one of two things. They're either probably going to be these old style biscuit or wall jacks, so like you have like that, and then you open them up, and there's screw terminals inside. The nice thing about the North Star is that you only need one pair or two wires. Um, and the North Star is so great that it actually doesn't even care if you get them mixed up, um, positive or negative reversed, it, it doesn't matter. Um, and by the way, there is no positive and negative in the phone world, it's just tip and ring. We'll talk about that later. So you're going to want to find the red and green and connect your wire coming from your stations onto the red and green. Now the way phone wiring works is most of your four pair cables look like this. Blue, orange, green, brown pairs. You're only concerned with the blue pair, okay? The blue pair is what you want to get down on those two terminals. The other end of the blue terminal is gonna go on, I mean the blue pair is gonna go on these punch down pairs on your 66 block. You also might have something like this, okay? This is a modular RJ45, uh, also called an 8P8C. And that's, uh, again, you're just concerned with, with punching the blue pair down onto that and then plugging the phone in. Okay, so that's wiring up the 616. I've also got a video about programming, which I'll leave uh, at the end of this video so you can see that too. All right, thanks for watching.